So that may be the problem. Okay, moving on. So I just declared those two functions, two static functions. Control C and going to the implementation file and I'm going to actually create them. I'm going to do control V. I am going to remove the static because this would be a syntax error to do it in the implementation file. But still, they belong to my class. So I, I really apologize for these long, you know, function definitions, but it's just a little longer name, right? And of course, they need to get the real uh, body. So removing the semicolons and uh, giving them the real implementation body. So I know we're due for a break, but uh, let's finish those parts uh, real quick. So, <coughs> so now I have those two functions that do nothing to make sure that everything is okay, save everything, and just quickly try to build it. All right? So error, uh, fl callback undeclared identifier. Uh, this is because, um, let me see, this is because what I need is a couple of extra headers I think that I might need. So fluid here, added button, and this, fl callback, let me sh make sure that I spelled it right, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I spell this right. Oh uh, yeah, uh, callback is uppercase. That's that's the pain, uh, right? So I need to make callback uppercase everywhere where I mentioned it. Uh, so in my header file right here, I need to make sure that. Well, that's all. That's just that's that's just in those two places that um, I specified that uh, uh, the. The two static name, the two names for static functions are callbacks. All right. So did I click the start properly? I'm not sure, but uh, I will try to follow this again. Okay. Uh, so again, build quickly. Uh, callback not found. Also, let me fix this other problem. Callback undefined. Um, oh, <laughs> this needs to look like the uh, pointer dereference. Uh, so, another syntax error. Sorry about that. And uh, cannot write because the application is running. So, again, uh, build finally. Should be able to build and link. Okay. So, so far, so good. Control F5, nothing really changed. So uh, now the callbacks do happen, but I just don't do anything in response. So now I may actually start doing something useful with it. So again, my steps were, let each button know that I want a callback, which is reasonable, right? And then to be able to accept the callback, I define those two static functions. So th they look a little scary in terms of how much stuff is involved. But, you know, I followed my own little homework uh, notes and I was able to type everything in. It wasn't that bad at all. I mean, you know, uh, the functions take a couple of parameters and do something. I obviously had to keep the declarations in proper shape in my class declaration in the header file. So now I have this. And so now let's do something useful with it. Remember I said, when you call me back, I want my, the pointer to my own instance. It's, it's something we're, we're going to cover formally in our presentation on constructors, uh, very formally. But right now this is a pointer to uh, the window. To demonstrate, when I have an object in memory, like, for instance, you know, a button or window or anything. The, when you call a member function, uh, e any member function can, can basically say, where is my object in memory? So each, it's C++ standard, 
that each function such as show automatically receives a pointer to an instance on which we were invoked. To be more specific, we created an object and as a cascading event there was everything else was created for us because this is how constructors operate. As soon as you construct this, constructor of the uh, fluid window was invoked, instantly that said new window, new button, new button, everything was happening just on this single instantiation. But once instantiated, w once, we saw sh w once we say show, th the this here, well I wish it was visible so let me scroll. This pointer is automatically t supplied to us, so it is actually the address of this object. So each member function call is given automatically the pointer to an object on which this member function was invoked. So if I created a window, I can, in any member function, I can say, where is my object in memory? It's very easy, it's this, the this keyword is actually a pointer to an object in memory. So, well, guess what? Then I should be able to do the following. The user data in my callbacks is going to be the pointer to my window. So let me test this. So I can say, if that's the case, if I can say, well, I guess I'll uh, use static cast here. Uh, C timer window pointer to window because we're dealing with win um, with um, pointers. Uh, I'm going to use, I guess, C style cast for now. Cast this user data to this type of pointer because I, 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 the programmer, know that this is safe. So what's going to happen is this: I'm going to receive an undefined type of pointer, the void pointer. Void is the type of pointer, and you can see the asterisk, it basically says user data is a pointer to something. But the operating system which makes the call has no clue what is it. But our code knows, it says, well, that's okay, user data should be our window object, which we instantiated in our main program and named it window. All right? So that's why I name it window again in this static function callback. Let me replicate it here as well, right? And then let's test the functionality. For example, I can say window uh, dot, um, I can, I'm sorry, the, the, I need to use the pointer, object pointer dereference operator. And I know that I have my window timer, which represents the entire window. This was generated by fluid. And then I can say, hey, window timer, I know that you have a label, uh, uh, a member function named label, and why don't I say, okay, start was clicked, right? So I do this, and then similarly, when the stop button is, uh, is clicked, I can say, oh, I want you to say stop. Now, the label for the entire window is going to be shown as a window title, right? So basically, set set uh, window title that's what this does uh, as a result let's find out if this happens so first of all let's just be careful with the, what I do here with those recordings